Hello and welcome to this live stream tour today of number 25 Coleman's Moor Lane here in Woodley. Uh, firstly, I'd just like to apologise for the sun that's coming into the lens. Um, it's just causing a bit of a glare on the lens, so uh, bear with me on that one. Um, so what we have here is a three bedroomed cottage, semi-detached. As you can see, we've got a five bar gate entrance here. And if I just focus on the location, it's very much non-estate. A lot of older style properties, bungalows, semi-detached houses, all sorts really. So yeah, really nice location. Very much in the centre of Woodley. Let's now just show you the front garden uh, because what we have here is a very big front garden. Um, all hedged in as you can see. There's the five bar gate entrance there. And lots of room. I mean, to be honest, there are parking. There's parking for four or five cars already, but space to make parking for even more if you wanted to. Just focusing on the house. As you can see, we've got a nice bay window there. Unusual style, as I said, a very much cottage style. Got a garage to the left-hand side there and then access through to the rear garden just there. Let's now take you inside. So just to let you know, my name is Gary. Um, and if you have any questions, then please do type away and I'll endeavor to answer them as best as I can. So there will be an opportunity to view this property over the next few days. Um, if you like what you see here today, then you can click on a, a button on your screen, the one that says request a private viewing. And that will then send an email through to me and let me know that you'd like to book a viewing. This property seems to have created a bit of interest. I can see we've got 12 people watching us today, so welcome to everybody. And last but not least, there is a recording of this being made, so it'll be loaded online later and uh, you'll be able to rewatch the recording as a refresher. So we're in the entrance hall, first of all. As you can see, we've got a side aspect window here, laminate flooring. And the cupboard in front of you, in fact, I will show you that cupboard because here we have the gas fired boiler. There you go. So it's obviously it tells you we've got gas central heating and also for the hot water as well. I'm just going to spin around to show you the front door. That's the way we've just entered. OK, so this is the entrance and then we have a further glazed door here which takes you into the sort of inner hallway with the stairs that lead to the first floor. Just quickly point up there. And on the right hand side here, we've actually got double doors, which take you into the lounge. So at the front of the house with a nice big bay window, we've also got a porthole window there as well. Really nice room, laminate floor again, and there's a fireplace there, focal point, that's a gas, sort of one of these living flame effect uh, gas fires. There's the radiator under the window, as you can see. And if I just step this way here, this just gives you an idea of the view that you have from the lounge window. It really gives you a nice view of the frontage that we've got on this house. And the driveway. So a really good start to this property, a nice lounge. On the ground floor then we have the kitchen through here. It's a kitchen breakfast room, quite a few units, good work surface space. In fact, I really need to step into this room to show you the full extent. So let me just step over here and turn around because here we have eye level units and a sort of island unit there, as you can see. There's a understair storage cupboard, space for the fridge freezer, but then Spinning round, more kitchen units. We've got a built-in oven there with a four-ringed gas hob above. There's the hood, more eye-level units, and then base units with the sink under the window. Obviously plumbing for the washing machine and dishwasher there as well. There's that big island unit. More appliance space there, as you can see. 
yeah, so a really nice kitchen. Um, the window and the door here overlook and the door takes you into the conservatory. So it's a lean-to conservatory. There you go, there's the roof. Sliding patio doors to the garden. Again, we've got a laminate floor in here. I'll just give you an idea of the view down the garden. We might just struggle with the sunlight again. In fact, I think what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll uh, take you out into the garden at the end of the tour after I've shown you the first floor. As you can see in this conservatory, we've got a table and chairs there. More sitting area there. So quite a useful addition. And let's take you through to back into the hallway. Now we've got three bedrooms upstairs and as is often with the sort of cottage style properties, the bathroom facilities are actually on the ground floor. So, but what's interesting here is though we have a four piece bathroom because you've actually got the bath there, the wash basin and the low level WC. But then also we have, if I step into the room and turn round, We've actually got a shower cubicle there as well. So it's a proper four piece bathroom suite. There you go. Yes, white, part tiled, but white suite and also tiled flooring. And the wash basin has a vanity cupboard beneath as well. Obviously a rear aspect window there, UPVC double glaze. That's a frosted window, of course, being the bathroom. So a nice four piece bathroom suite. Let's now take you upstairs and show you the three bedrooms. <clears throat> and of course the landing as well. Just mentioning location wise. Um, yeah, it is quite central Woodley here. Um, to walk to Woodley Shopping Centre, I think it's probably about a mile away from here. So probably a 15, 20 minute walk. Also the buses are very close by, but we do have other local shops. Um, literally a mini market is within probably 300 yards. So very convenient location. And as I mentioned, when we're out front, very much non-estate as well. So let's do the main bedroom first. So this is at the front. You can see wardrobe, built-in wardrobe there. We have a double bed in situ. More appliance space there. Again, just to give you an idea, hopefully this will work. You can see what's out the front. We are set well back from the road here, actually, even though we've also got that uh, good laurel hedge at the front. Okay, so that's the main bedroom. Let's go across the landing here now to the second bedroom. So as you can see, we've got a double bed in situ there. There's a side aspect window. Uh, well, I am going to show you this, however. On the videos, I don't normally open wardrobes just in case things fall out. <laughs> but this is the airing cupboard and it's very big. Um, there's the hot water tank just there but really good hanging space and airing cupboard. Okay, so that's the uh, that's that one. Now let's just quick view of the landing whilst we're here. And then last but not least, neatly into the third bedroom. So this is the smallest bedroom. Um, this actually is quite a good size third bedroom. I'm not quite sure if the camera lens is really showing it, but it is actually, that's a, that's a freestanding wardrobe just sat there. But it actually is a fairly good third bedroom. Third bedrooms on three bedroom houses are often box rooms, but uh, not at all. This is a fairly decent third bedroom. And again, actually, um, the sun might not be working in my favour here, but Let's just try and give you an idea of just what's out the back. You can see all the trees. In the distance we have Denton pastures. So again, that's within walking distance. Okay, so that's the three bedrooms. And now let's just take you down 
into the garden and I can show you a view of the back of the house and the patio. I have actually had someone, in fact, I'm gonna stop there for a second because someone's requested to have another look at the lounge, uh, which I'll do now as I'm here. Like I said, if you have any questions, then you can type away. Um, there is a question that's also asking me about a onward chain. Well, actually, although this property is furnished, um, there is no onward chain here. Um, good question, that one. Um, so it would be a simple no onward chain sale. OK, now to the rear garden and uh, the side piece. Right, so let's just focus on the garden. As you can see, it's got length to it. There is a shed at the end. That's better without the sun. Got a big hedge on the left-hand side here that probably just encroaches a little bit. Good fencing on the right-hand side. So a shed at the end and a shed on the right. I'm just going to turn around and show you that we have a sort of patio area here. There's the back of the garage and also the gate leading through to the front. So if I just back up slightly, I'll give you an idea. There's the back of the house. So as you can probably tell, a lot of extension potential. It's an unusual shape front, uh, 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 a plot, I should say, with a big frontage. So that just about concludes the tour of this house. And I can see we've had a couple of people requesting to view this house, so thank you for that. We'll, uh, we'll give you a call and book in the viewings. We will be doing viewings over the next couple of days, assuming you're watching this uh, live, of course. Um, if it's a recording, then do telephone the office and we'll certainly get you booked in for a viewing as early as possible. So it just remains for me to say thank you for watching. Any questions you may have, my name's Gary. Call me, the number's on the website. And thanks for watching.